Hi there, welcome here guys. In last lecture we have initialized our Next.js project and in this lecture we'll continue the TypeScript. First we'll initialize TypeScript support in our project and then we'll do some structural changes. All right, so let's start opening your coding editors and to initialize TypeScript support in any project you need to create tsconfig file, so TypeScript configuration file. Don't worry about it right now, I'll be explaining TypeScript in much more details in uh, through the next lecture. So what we need to do in our project folder, create here a new file and you need to call it exactly like this, ts for a TypeScript, config.json. Okay, tsconfig.json and uh, that's basically it. Uh, this file can stay empty because when we'll run our Next.js project for a fresh, well, from the fresh start, this will initialize it for us. You will see it. Okay, so just leave it com completely empty. We'll go to our terminal and here we'll shut down our development server. So just click here, control C or command C to shut down the server. And let's run here npm run dep again. This will locate this file and it will locate it's empty. And it will ask us to install some dependencies. Okay, so what we need to install is of course TypeScript and also we need to install types for the React. Okay, so yeah, copy this command here, what we have, npm install, save dev, TypeScript, types, React. Okay, so here, let's run it here, npm install, save dev. So we are installing TypeScript support and also types for React. Okay, uh, that's done. Now I'm just npm run dev and you will see your tsconfig file JSON will be auto-completed for you. Okay, so we detected TypeScript in your project and created tsconfig.json file for you and it, it will have already filled up uh, configuration. Okay, so compile successfully, then you will go to your browsers and you will refresh the localhost 3000, everything will run as before, no changes. All right, so when we will take a look at our project in a tsconfig.json, we have here compiler options and all of the options of uh, for a for a conf TypeScript configurations. I will be talking about these options in the next lecture. So far, we are just initializing the support. Okay, so yeah, this is done. This, I will, about this, we'll be talking in the next one. And now to the structural changes of our project. So what will be structural changes? Simply, in our pages folder, you can see here app.js, index.js, API folder. We will remove app.js and the API folder. We'll start from scratch. So from app.js, I will delete, I will delete complete file, API, I will delete complete file. All right, then I will go to public. No, public will leave. We'll go to styles. We'll remove complete styles folder. Okay, move to trash. And our index.js file, I will remove here. Uh, remove almost everything. So from the imports, let's remove everything and just leave here export default function home. Then we'll return some empty JSX. So just here empty div and let's write here hello world and what's the additional sign of sign of a typescript that we can create here extensions of the files will be which will be called type uh, tsx okay so let's click here on the file index.js rename and let's call it tsx for a typescript file okay so it's a typescript together with a jsx it's called a tsx and now in this code, we can write a TypeScript, so we can specify types for our variables, functions, we can define the shapes of the objects and so on, but about this later, just to verify everything is working so far, I can write here const message, hello world. When I will hover over the message, I should see here const message is hello world, and I can also specify here type for a message, so I can, after the variable name, I can specify column, and I can specify here, it's a string. Message is a string, and I can display this message here. Curly brackets, let's write here a message. And that's it, that's our TypeScript support. Now we can define the types for our variables, types for our functions, for our objects, and for basically everything in a JavaScript. Okay, so with this, we can go to browser and we can, first we need to recompile, I think, because we have removed like, some of the files that are, uh, are required to completely recompile, uh, <laughs> they require a complete recompile of our project. So we need to go to terminal and we need to shut this down. We have here a lot of errors. Clear it out and let's run here npm run dev. Everything should be running without any problems. All right, so compile successfully. We'll go to back to our browsers. We'll refresh and you should see here hello world. So everything is working again. So now you have a TypeScript support. 
we can define types. But our syntax will not change. We can write normal JavaScript as we are used to. Okay, so TypeScript is a wrapper around the JavaScript defined types and also other features. Okay, so basically, yeah, I've already done. We have a JavaScript language, right? All right. And the TypeScript is just a superset of a, of a JavaScript. Okay, so above this, you have a, this TypeScript, which will define the types. As you could see just moments ago, as I could define the type of the message is a string. When the type of the message is a string, it can be it can be number. I cannot assign here number. All right, so when I will write here another variable, I will call it h. I'll I will call it. I will specify here let so I can reassign its value, and I will specify here number type. I cannot assign here hello world because it is expecting only numbers. Okay, so I can I can get here h. Let's say thirty. Okay, but about these guys, about TypeScript and all of this. Uh, the next lecture. And next lecture, I would like to start with that tsconfig.json so you have an idea of what this, this file is defining here and also these other files here, what you see. So guys, that's it. Let's see you in yeah, the next one. Cheers.